can't believe it. Acro? It's pretty shocking, isn't it? It definitely is, and to think he was always the most straightforward of the group! Jeebus! Am I that hated? <clears throat> Acro tried to print the murder on you on purpose. He... he did? Psst, psst, <laughs> but... I'm nothing but a little old nobody, you know? But you're not, which is kind of the reason why... Ah! <laughs> hey, hey, pal! You're gonna ignore me after I went through all this trouble of bringing you some evidence? Ah, Detective Gumshoe! Ah, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyways. Now, now, Detective, I'm sorry. Look, why don't you relax a little? We've got some really tasty milk. Man, have you not refrigerated that milk? It's probably warm by now. Bleh. How about a card trick, Detective? Ho, ho, ho! Well, if you insist. Now, about that evidence you mentioned, Ian. Here you go. Huh? This was yesterday in Acro's room. Yep, but I've included the forensic evidence. Take a look at it later. Wouldn't Miss Von Kama be bad that you're doing this? That's why this is all a secret. Huh? Look, details are on a need to know basis, and we're not really allies or anything, but everything that's happened in court up in Sanaa has gone according to our plan. I don't know. Miss Von Kama didn't seem in control of things in there just now. You'll figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans were set into motion. Final plans? Uh-huh. That reminds me. I've got a message from the prosecutor for you. Nothing is ever truly decided until the very end. That's it. And that's it for me too, pal. I'm out of here. What do you mean by that? The very end part? I'm not sure. It was all pretty cryptic to me. Cryptic metaphors. Oh, one more thing. Ah, don't scare me like that. It looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. What, for me? It's milk. The reception area looks like some kind of dairy. So hurry up and drink it all before it spoils. It, an entire dairy's work, an entire dairy's worth of milk for me? Why are they all doing that? I, I'm, I am lost as to the milk. I, I am at a loss. Court is now back in session. Miss Von Kama, please continue where, from where you left off. I'd like to continue with Acro's testimony, starting with his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Acro would have to commit this crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Dingling. Yes, Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. <laughs> Finally, we get to the motive. Wait, Nick, are you okay? Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Ugh. When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Hmm, you're such a thoughtful young man. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think that Acro would kill the man he held in such high esteem. You are absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Which is why there's no real need for a cross-examination, is there? Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Why would Acro kill the Ringmaster? This might be the last chance to answer that question. The defense has a right to cross-examine the witness. <laughs> You're so tactless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You don't care about justice, do you? You just want to fabricate a motive. Very well, Mr. Wright. Cross-examine the witness. You ever have any trouble with the ringmaster? Oh, yeah. How could you ask such a thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You have some sort of fundamental misunderstanding of the witness's testimony or the heartfelt emotions contained within? You better think about this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You better think hard. Ow! Hmm. No matter how you look at it, there's no way I could ever see this witness ever see this witness ever taking the victim's life. Wife. Oh my God. Exactly. I've been waiting for you to say that, Your Honor. Nick, I hate to say it, but I agree with them. I was trying to take chase on the truth, but I ended up just looking like a jerk. What do you think, Nick? I don't know. I think the more I cross-examine him, the worse I end up looking in the end. You mean... I get the feeling this cross-examination was a trap. Alright. I was worried that if I said no, it would just be like, well, that's the end of the trial then. There's no need to cross-examine this witness. What's that? 
Why was the ringmaster murdered? There's no need to delve into that bit of testimony when I know the answer already. Mr. Rod, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. I would just like to know, can you provide an explanation as to why Akro would want the ringmaster dead? Nick? Yeah, I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Akro killed the ringmaster is something that can't be proven. What? That's because Akro had no reason to kill the ringmaster at all. Ow! Your foolish attempt to fool us like foolish fools is so foolheartedly foolish! Did you forget? You made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was. This is the real killer of Russell Berry Ringmaster. You want to jump to the end of things, then yes. That sounds about right. The end of, thi the end of things. Acro. You didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? The Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you just say? I'm saying that the target of this witness's murderous plot was not the Ringmaster because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. What? Order, order. Bailiff, I don't care who it is. Smack anyone who's loud in the face twice if you must. God damn, Mr. Wright. What in the world are you trying to do to my court? Ow. And you are not asking the person literally whipping you across the face. Okay, whatever. Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to his court? Are you attempting to imply that Acro was trying to kill someone else? I was. Regina Barry? This young girl is the ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro, you were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? Objection. That was a leading question. Uh, you don't need to answer that. It's a mean-spirited leading question. He could easily answer the, this question. Sure, but if I was the judge, I would make you rephrase the question. If I'm wrong, all he has to say is, you're wrong, that's it. That's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Enough, Mr. Phoenix, sorry, Mr. Wright, allow me to, ow. The only thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself. Okay, okay, that's it. That's it. That's the most badass line that is ever going to be dropped in a court of law. <laughs> Holy shit is that hardcore. <laughs> oh my God, was that awesome? Huh? And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix, right? Show me evidence now! I want to know why Acro would want to kill Regina Barry. Y yes, me too. I demand to see some proof. Present evidence that proves Acro was out to kill this young girl. So do we show... We either have to show the note or the brother. Do we lay the... Normally what you would have to... You wouldn't show the note. What you would normally do here is show the you would lay the foundation with the brother's relationship, brother's relationship with Regina, then the incident that happened, then you could then you could start showing like the scarf and the note. But I'm not sure if the game wants you to show the note or bat first, because this actually shows that because we know that he put this in her pocket. So we know that she was supposed to be there at that time. So the game might just want us to jump straight to the note. Acro, you remember this, don't you? That's... It's a piece of paper that we found inside the ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat. Acro wrote this note. It's ironically entitled to the murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. So you're saying that he called Russell Berry with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem. Acro did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean, it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Berry. Order, 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 Mr. F Mr. Wright, this little theory of yours. 
It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her, which is why the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. That's when her father, I mean, the ringmaster, saw the notes. That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in the, that plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina. That's, that's, that's incredible. Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today? Lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out of the window myself. Acro had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza. Because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I've got it, I've got it. Acro thought it was Regina down in the plaza. And that's when he left, let the bust fly. Let it fly, let it fly. Hey, Nick, isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? She is, unfortunately. It's only to get harsher from here. Like, I give a shit. I hope Regina can handle it. Acro wrote this note to Regina. <laughs> foolishly foolish fool with foolishly foolish fool ideas of foolish Tom foolery. You're so foolish you even made me sound like a foolhardy fool. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're so sure, then tell us about this, this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Yes? What about that line? Well, if the note was meant for Regina Barry, it would mean that. This note is declaring that Regina Barry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza in place of his lovely daughter. Hold it right there, Mr. Wright. What is this incident that is alluded to in the note? Incident six months ago. An incident occurred six months ago, and now I am more than ready to show the court what happened at that time. Moron! Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has, has its start in what happened six months ago. Really, Nick? I, um, I think so. Well, then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I'd certainly like to know what it is. I can't answer that question. If I can't answer that question, the judge is going to think I'm bluffing. It's the pepper, isn't it? Or it's this. Normally, I would go straight for the scarf. The only reason I'm considering the pepper is because the pepper was in the box. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the pepper, too, because, like, they made it a point to note that the pepper was in the box, and if that's the presentation they wanted to make... Hmm. Achoo! <laughs> Achoo! Ow! Achoo! What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? <laughs> so someone does have a sense of humor. I knew it all along. It isn't a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence you asked for. What do you mean? Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away with him. He was doing so because this piece of decisive evidence is what was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Rott. What exactly are you saying? Are you claiming Regina Barry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into, into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Foolish fool who never tires of his own foolish ways. If you're so sure, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then answer this question. Four pegs? Goddamn. Who was Regina Berry's intended victim? Who is this? This is Acro's younger brother. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that's true. However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Acro could feel that his brother is dead. Regina, she did that to him? You spend your entire life dreaming up new ways to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Acro's brother, Sean Dingling. Seen Dingling. <laughs> Six months ago, he was hit by a... He was hit. hit that would have been better. Bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. A lion? 
Regina, I mean, Miss Regina Berry is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. That's not really evidence. Especially we don't know anything about her. We've established, like, no foundation. But okay, sure. Let's just throw out that out there. So then what happened to Acro's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? The lion biting Bat was no accident at all. What? You are such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There is no way that Regina could ever incite her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being, but Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Acro's brother, Bat. Take that. That's... that's just a scarf. Acro. This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who was the one that gave the scarf to Bat? Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina. There's something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? Pepper. 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 Regina gave this scarf to Bat right before the accident, and she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? <clears throat> um, excuse me, Mr. Rat. You've done a good job of fingering a cream... Cr did he said fingering a criminal? Fingering a criminal, but out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um, Miss Barry gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? Still seems like the judge just doesn't get it. Mr. Phoenix Wright, wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed, and it looked like he was smiling. Lion's smile? I've never heard of them smiling. However, lion sneeze. Whoa. Leon wasn't trying to bite bad at all. Huh? 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 He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf. What? You fool! You've got to be kidding me. What's the matter, Miss Von Kama? I, I, I object for objection's sake. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you, this theory, you believe it? You really intend to say that this is how this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this incident, or this joke as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiots! Ha. Ha ha ha. It almost does seem like a terrible joke. Doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. <laughs> to think that there's someone who treats this accident the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said is true? Acro, you don't mean, you can't mean witness. Are you confirming the defense's, the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I drop Max's bust on top of the ringmaster. Where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh. You mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof, to be more precise. The murder weapon. The bust that the defense claims was used. If that if it if that were found to be in Acro's room, and if it were covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The 
bust. Nick, you've got to do something. This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. See how things work out first. The defense requests to search the room of the witness, Ken Dingling. <laughs> what is it now? It looks like you still haven't figured things out, have you? By now you must know the meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. You mean... Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akro's room yesterday. What'd you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akro would not be here as a witness. To put a point on it, Max's bus was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bus wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise, and we took Acro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. That doesn't... just because he did it by surprise doesn't really mean anything. End of story. Just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like you lack the final nail to put into my coffin. But what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bust, where is it now? Where is the bust right now? Yo, Phoenix Wright, you know where that bust is. I'm sure you do. Not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where that bust is? Seems this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter-arguments look to have fallen short. Thank you for your support! Ugh. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings an end to the cross-examination of this witness. Where is Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare to present its... I mean, case. Lace. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? We need time to do what? Ow! Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do you really have a case to present, Mr. Rat? What? Are you asking me? Oh my god, shut up! The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck! Hey, wait. You can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives on the line, don't they? That's how Acro's lived up his life up till now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well. The defense may proceed. He doesn't He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic, there's no room for a false step. The murder weapon! Where is Max's bus now? <laughs> Alright, you want me to say somewhere in this courtroom? We'll do it for the laws. It's obvious. The bus is inside this very courtroom. It's obviously where? <laughs> Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once for all. The judge's bench. It's um God. What? Why did you stop talking all of a sudden? Well, I'm just not really ah, under your honor's bench. <laughs> what did you just say to me? That's a penalty. Ugh. What's that? You want a double? Here you go. <laughs> God damn, he hit you twice for that? Where's the one place you wouldn't have the murder weapon if you knew you were going to court to be a witness? I wouldn't have it on my person because I would be searched and go through a metal detector and they would find it on me instantly. I swear to God, if he has the fucking murder weapon, Obviously, where? Allow me to pinpoint the location once and for all. The witness stand. Acro, I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Seems to me that'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. 
I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over, which is why you had to hide it. And the only place you could hide it, under your wheelchair. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove that the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. You! You fool! How could you? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna back up Von Karma here. She lost, but it's definitely because she was lied to. For no other reason other than she was lied to. She thought she had done her job. They didn't try to forge evidence or anything like that. She thought she had the facts straight, and it turned out she had been lied to. Like, straight up lied to because the dude was like, the murder weapon? Nope. There's no murder weapon here. Not behind my back. What would Acro be charged with uh, for a case like this? Uh, he had the intent to kill, but he accidentally killed uh, the wrong person. Is that considered first degree? Let's pull up uh, Wisconsin's uh, chapter 940.01. First degree intentional homicide. <sighs> Whoever causes the death of another human being with the intent to kill that person or another is guilty of a class A felony. So in that case, he would still be charged with, with that wording, I would think he'd still be charged with first degree here because it says causes the death of another human being with the intent to kill that person or another meaning that he had intended to kill another but instead killed that person so yeah it, 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 here you would still it would still be first degree intentional homicide again no it depends on the state this is wisconsin's murder statute in the first degree uh um, murder statute that it could vary from state to state because that's something that changes depending southeastern I don't like to give out my exact location but let's just say in that uh, five county area. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that answered your question. Am right, I sad it wasn't a clown after all? Kind of. Most sucks. Just because he's a clown. <laughs> I hate clowns so much. Imagine accidentally killing your only father who treat you nothing with love, kind of and support must be painful. I'm actually surprised given his temperament that he just didn't turn himself in, considering he did it accidentally. Get better aim next time. Well, make sure that the, he, he overestimated his opponent in Regina. He thought Regina would read it and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna show up there. But instead she's like, oh, this couldn't be for me. This must be for someone else. And then she's put it up on the bulletin board. Yeah, I mean, he gets hung here. He's going to die. He, he is going to die in this game. <laughs> Where is the bus now? Well, it's on Von Karma's chest. We need to examine it to verify. Please, if you will, Miss Von Karma. Shape of a woodpecker hole. Yeah, he got messed up. Oh, St. Croix, that's... Northwest of me, I think. I think. I think that's, yeah, I think that's west of me or northwest of me. I've, I've driven through there before, but I've never had a chance to like stop off anywhere. I love the, the like the, let's say the countryside um, of our state though, like leaving my area to go and, um, 
I got friends all over the state and then like Minneapolis and stuff like that. So I'm driving all around the state a lot. And I love, I love driving around our state. It's so, the scenery is so just nice. It's, it's not anything amazing, but it's just, it's nice. Like I drive, I drive through it and I'm like, this is chill, you know? This is really chill. I thought they said they do hang people though. I, I have no idea. You, you would know better than I do. Uh, but we know Von Karma's dead. He was hung, right? We don't know what happened to the others because I don't think it's ever mentioned later, at least as of like this point in time right now, right? Oh, I didn't know Chris lived in Wisconsin too. I know you did, but I didn't know. I knew you were south of me, but I didn't know uh, Chris lived in Wisconsin as well. You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence, the cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust, obviously I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place I could hide it that quickly was under this wheelchair. This Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. I'm almost positive Unless, okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I don't know too much about metal detectors. Would bronze, maybe not platinum, but would bronze, I mean, platinum would too. Both of those would set off a metal detector, wouldn't they? So I guess here, they don't have metal detectors. Good for them. <laughs> La dee da, mister. We are not worried about any crimes being committed in our courtroom. Woohoo. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm, it all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. Uh-huh, you definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. So wait, did she? Because if she did, then yeah, she's kind of terrible because she knew who really did it and was like, fuck it, I don't care. I just want to win the case. But it legit seems like she didn't realize <laughs> she should be happy that the real culprit was found. But instead, she is very upset. Now that could be because she was fooled or and she lost the case or it could be strictly because she lost the case. I can't believe it's me. Make a mistake? Why did I order a surprise search of your room if only I hadn't done that? Oh no, she had no fucking idea. Okay. It seems we finally arrived at the truth. Acro. Yes, your honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Barry Big Circus, Mr. Russell Barry? Yes, your honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. The other thing to point out too is that it's mentioned a few times that this isn't where they get sentenced. They actually go to a higher court for another trial after this. But we don't ever get to that point. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he'd tease her. One day my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard you couldn't help yourself from laughing. You couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times too. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never ever being able to understand her. No, you're guilty of actual murder. Don't try to ask yourself those types of questions to reframe your own ego and accountability. Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely that she would laugh innocently when saying it too innocently. Oof. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? No, that's not what I mean because that would be a really shitty thing to say. I'm nothing but a murderer, that's who I am. 
At first I thought I'd kill myself, then I pondered giving myself up, but I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just... I just... I just couldn't up and leave yet. Ah, because he had to see his... He wanted to see his brother. Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering why he didn't just turn himself in. This has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm in. Idiots! Clap, clap for admitting that. Respect, respect. Sometimes you just need to admit aloud, I am stupid and did a stupid thing. I can't believe it. You beat me again. <laughs> yes. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. And these birds, and these birds were complicit. We are all guilty. This court is adjourned. Fabulous! But to be honest, I could I can't really be too happy about this. Acro, the ringmaster, Regina, and Bat. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? That's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. Many congrats, but only at max a million of them. God, thank you. Person who committed me of murder. What's with the vibe in this room? We're not very we're not really vibing very much here, Acro. Er uh Mo, we're thinking about Acro. Fuck, I fucked it up. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever. Never be happy. Huh? Oh, that's so sad. Am I supposed to dislike her? Because I really don't. Wah! She's been like this for a while now. Wah! It's all my fault. Wah! Sweetie, sweetie pie. Bat and Akron are never coming back. Now everyone's got to split up. Regina. Mr. Wright, tell me something. What do you want to know, Regina? Akro said something right at the end. I just couldn't up and leave yet. Does that mean that Akro, is he going to try and get his revenge on me? No. He's not going to do that for you, Regina. Are you sure? You're really sure? I can believe that? Yep, Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I want to see some evidence. Huh? I want to know you're not just making that stuff up about Acro not wanting revenge. He just wants to see his brother. Acro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. Bat! That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. I never knew. But now that Acro's been caught... Uh-huh. I know! What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes, and then until he can meet Acro again. That's sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm so sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. Wherever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What's going to happen to the circus now? Uh, that's the big question. Our remaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. Staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I made a decision. What is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn the circus into the best circus the world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen? Don't laugh. That's quite the goal. Yeah, I can't wait. Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means this circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um, Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? 
What do you think I brought you to, to court today? Uh, we got to work together to make the very big circuits bigger than it's ever been. Mo. Mo's right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus without Regina Berry. Max. Nick, it seems like everything is going to turn out all right here. I can't wait to see the best circus the world has ever seen. We'll save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. <laughs> There's the hiccups. Mo should get no happy ending. I agree with you there. Yesterday surprised rain. It really paid off, just like you said it would, sir. <gasps> um, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. A game theory. If Acro really was the killer, I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Acro's place, you need, in case you need not worry, I plan to personally stop by the chief prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you. Mr. Edgeworth, 